happy day I'm good. Otherwise known as Penelope Mayfield. I was the result of a random Tinder hookup. I was a surprise. Surprise pregnancy. Hello. Everything about my life is about to be a surprise. I'm not gonna make any choices for her. I'm just gonna get to know her. A little girl named Ava wants to become your friend. How cute. Please don't reject her. Why would you do that? I have coronavirus. What is going on? Is this karma for rejecting my first friend? Am I gonna live? Am I even gonna have a life? I'm gonna take the tiniest little phone in the world and like make a call. Hello, please, Penelope, please don't you go dying on me. All right, thank you. A little girl named Bobby Sue wants to become your friend. Okay, she's a good looking girl. She's smart. She's not crazy. This is the perfect friend. Please become friends with her. No. Why do you keep rejecting all of your friends? If I was in the steering wheel here, I would definitely make sure that you had a friend or two. Why not? Your mother wants to buy you a pet gopher snake named Slip. Okay, I mean, that's a healthy, happy, smart, kind of crazy snake. I, this girl doesn't want anything. Uh. Excuse me. Your mother has married your new stepfather, John Cook, a 33-year-old hairdresser. He's not kind and he doesn't have money. And they went to Edinburgh without us for their honeymoon. I think I'm mad about that. Now that you have a stepfather, you're wondering how to address him. What <laughs> will you call him? Now, I'm afraid of this surprise me because like, what if I call him Buddy and he just doesn't like me for the rest of his life? John, oh, I'm calling him his first name. Holy, this kitten's got claws, I'll tell you that much. Your evil stepfather told you that he left you a box of donuts in the kitchen, but you discovered that it was actually full of carrots. John really doesn't like that I be calling him John. I really hope that I'm like, oh, it doesn't bother me. You can't get the best of me. Instead, I fight him. I'm going to roundhouse kick his grind. <laughs> I'm gonna get him where it hurts and it's gonna bang. I didn't do that much damage. I mean, I am six years old, so I can't see it doing damage, but I think he definitely feels the intention. He knows that I'm not here to play. I'm here to do business. I don't want no friends. I don't I want no snakes. I just want to be myself. A kid from your neighborhood tells you that she received a board game called The Sequence for Kids as a birthday gift, but confesses that she doesn't really want it. Do you want to take it? I mean, it would boost my smarts, but I'm kind of having a lot of fun here <laughs> with this girl because she is out of her mind. I feel like she would say no. I can't say surprise me here, so I'm just gonna go with what I know about her so far, and I'm gonna say that sounds boring. Get it out of my face, I hate you. Your classmate Wilma keeps hiding your clothes while you're you're showering during gym class. Why are you bullying me? I didn't do anything to you, Wilma Gobble Tinkle. I could bully you for that name if I wanted to. I'm reporting her to the principal. Oh, Penelope is a young Karen in the making. You visited the principal's office and reported your classmate, Wilma, for bullying you. Oh, and by the way, I have coronavirus, but I'm walking around class, so Mr. Principal and all of my classmates, I'm sorry about that one. Before class, your classmate, Genesis, is writing profanity all over your teacher, Mrs. Harder's dry erase board. What are you gonna do, girl? You gonna charge her? Of course you are. You're crazy. You're violent. You tried reporting the other girl to the principal, but like the other girl wasn't really punished. Oh, spitting on someone. That is the meanest thing you can do. I'm gonna spit on her, on her forehead. Oh, that's so mean. You tried to spit at your classmate, but missed. It's just like trying to kick my stepdad in the groin. I missed, but the intention is there. You've been sent to Principal O'Neill's office for fighting. What are you gonna do? Please apologize. I don't wanna get kicked out of school, no. argue with him. I did it because I felt like it. I did it because of retribution. This tinker gobbler girl was bullying me. She was hiding my clothes while I was showering. I would consider this like a discount. This is me being nice. I'm being hospitable, charitable even. The principal, Mr. O'Neill, told you that he hopes you will learn from this experience. Okay. I mean, he's probably telling me that because I am ghostly white right now. All of the color has left my face. The coronavirus is really, it's just really kicking in. What can you do about it? Your evil stepmother told you that you look like a boy. Why are you so evil? Why are you like this? Why do you have to do this to me? Yes, charge him, he deserves it. And this time we're licking him. There's like spitting at people, there's kicking people in the groin, and then there's licking someone. It perplexes them and it makes them feel like this girl is really asserting her dominance here. I'm gonna give him like a wet willy, but instead of like licking my finger and sticking it in, I'm just gonna use my whole tongue. You licked your stepfather's ear. It didn't do damage physically but emotionally, I really think I got my point across. Your mother wants to take you on a family vacation to Machu Picchu? Ooh. Why would I refuse to go to that? What is wrong with this 
girl, she's so evil. You have an opportunity to have your first kiss with a boy in your class named Isaiah Big. I mean, his looks are really not good, but he seems like a nice fella. I could have my first kiss with Isaiah, but instead I ran away. I mean, I am 11, so that does make sense. Your classmate Betty wants you to skip class with her and go sing Jay-Z songs at karaoke night instead. Please, please say yes. Yeah! yeah! Okay, I mean, she is evil. She's crazy, but she knows how to have a good time, and I'm sure she killed it at karaoke. You had a super realistic dream where you and your classmate Lee were married and had an amazing life. You're thinking about asking him out. I hate when this happens, when it feels like you've like shared a dream with somebody, that you've shared like a moment with somebody, and then you wake up and they probably haven't thought about you at all. I wish that when you had a dream about somebody, by some force of nature, they would have a dream about you too, and then you could both wake up and be like, that dream, whoa! But I don't think asking him out is the right idea. Oh, I did it anyway. Oh, I got the boyfriend. Maybe he had a dream about me too. We're looking at each other on the other side of class and he felt what I was thinking and then we both went home and dreamed about each other and I'm happy now and I'm starting high school with a boyfriend. That's what I've always wanted. Some friends that you're starting high school with are encouraging you to join the video games club. What are you gonna do? Come on, do it. Yes. Join the club. I'm becoming a lot more happy, a lot more social, thriving, ignoring my evil stepdad, ignoring my untreated coronavirus and I'm just like doing the best that I possibly can. What? Your boyfriend Lee wants to break up with you? Why? Oh no. Are you gonna be violent or are you gonna beg him to stay? Wish him well. I think it's because he's like the first guy who's ever nice to me. And that dream, like that thing was vivid. That was a very vivid lifelong dream. So I gotta leave him off on a positive note so that hopefully in the future, maybe he'll want me back when we're like 40. Please take the test. Yes. Thank you. Same way traffic added lane. It's an added lane, duh. Passed my driving test. Let's go. Oh, oh, I could have got a booster, but I clicked too fast. Unlucky. Your classmate Aisha just mixed all of your art teacher, Mr. Boner's paint together, leaving nothing but brown paint for the rest of the class to use. That is so toxic. Why would you even do that? I'm reporting her to the principal. I'm upset. Report filed. You visited the principal's office, reported your classmate for acting up, and he said he would look into it. Expel her. She ruined painting class. I graduated from high school. Now what am I gonna do? My whole life is in this choice's hand. Oh, I applied to university, but it was rejected because I, I think I'm a lot smarter than I am, but I'm not. It's okay though, we can learn a trade at community college. Enlist in the military, oh no. Okay, so I've been fighting my whole life. So maybe I should just do like the Marines or the army. I think I'm gonna do the Marines. That's kind of cute. I'm gonna enlist in the Marines because if I apply as an officer without a degree, I will be rejected. I don't wanna bite off more than I can chew like I did with university. Your commanding officer has ordered you to deploy to a rebel controlled region in the Congo to clear a minefield. No, okay, please, please refuse to go. We're gonna die. We're going to die. No. <laughs> Please don't kill me. Oh, I'm so scared. I hate this. I'm gonna do the bottom corner. <gasps> okay, great. If this goes wrong, I'm gonna die. I don't know, like, I, I kind of want to desert my post, but I'm doing so well. Like, I've got two that are good. Ah, gosh, I don't want to die. My life has been so short. Okay, I'm gonna go for the Hail Mary, Mother of God. Oh, when is this game over? I'm gonna flag that one. I don't know why, but oh, I'm gonna flag that one. <laughs> I might actually do this. No. <laughs> No! Your neck was blown to kingdom come, your ovaries were branded, your knee was blown up, and your hair was split. No, I, no, I, no, we're undoing that death. I can't, I can't even, I can't do that. Okay, perfect. Great! Your commanding officer has ordered you to deploy to a volatile zone deep in Saudi Arabia to clear a minefield. How will you react? We're gonna surprise me. Please, refuse this time. Refuse this time. Hey! I believe in you. No! I'm deserting my post. Yes, I'm deserting my post. I'm getting out of here. You were caught trying to desert the Marines? What happened? I didn't realize that you could go to jail for that. Oh, actually, I can afford Carter and Associates. Please. I've been convicted. I mean, I feel like even with like a good lawyer, I wouldn't have gotten away with this one, so I shouldn't have spent any money at all. I'm in the prison yard. I bump into a fellow prisoner named Amanda who is serving time for a domestic disorder. She's crazy. What'll I do? I might die in here. I'm gonna ignore her. Okay, good call. Good call, Penelope. My dad died and I'm not even there to see him. Ooh, I got 85,000. <laughs> I can't. 
Your stepfather, John Cook, has divorced your mother. I always hated him. Now maybe I can be closer to my mom. I've always hated that evil stepdad. I think that maybe the stepdad was hoping that when the real dad died, she would inherit the money, but I did. Get out of here. You are unbelievably thirsty, but the only drinking fountain available is atop a toilet that a nasty inmate has been defecating in for the last 58 minutes. Please don't drink that, you're gonna die. Okay, I'd rather die of thirst, thank you. You've been released from prison. Let's live the rest of our lives. Some of your friends are going to a local nightclub named The Cosmic. What will you do? Mm. Are you gonna stay home like you always do? I knew it. Some people never change. All of your friends are on social media. Will you join too? I'm pretty antisocial, but hey, never say never. That's what I always say. While walking through the cemetery, I walk through cemeteries at night, okay? I got a few screws loose. I encounter an owl. What will you do? If I try to pet this owl, this owl is going to claw my brains. Okay, I ran for my life. I'm suffering from anxiety. Anxiety. Someone called my mother a coward. We have to charge her. We have no choice. Insult her back. That works. Called her a hoe. Your friend has a friend who works at Nebula Foods and can get you a job as a janitor. Please take the job. We need it. I might get rejected though. Hey, I have a job. I've got steady income. I no longer feel sad all the time. And while waiting at the bus stop, I encounter a stray cat. Am I going to take it to the shelter and do the right thing? Am I going to keep it as a pet? Am I going to run? Hey, I have a pet. I have a cat. I'm gonna name it water because I've always wanted to drink water in jail, but people use those toilets a little bit too hard. My little cat water is gonna keep me company and it fixed my anxiety. While cleaning an office at work, you realize that you're out of sanitizing cleaner. What'll you do? Oh, I'm going to get some bleach. Perfect. Okay, I really like that decision. I was a little bit scared that I would just clean it with water and then like eat with my hands and then get salmonella and die. A friend is offering to take you rock climbing at a gorgeous location with amazing views. You've been wanting to ascend to new heights. I would love to. I would love to start rock climbing. Yay! You've been feeling unusually lethargic lately. Please don't search the web. She goes to a doctor. This is a girl that I can get behind. Don't you dare say never mind. Okay, I'm going to the less reputable doctor because even though I'm making the right choice here, this girl never fully makes the right choice. $367 to treat the flu. I've had coronavirus for a really, really long time, but I'm a lot older now. I'm like 33 now. So maybe they have a cure now. Surprise me, don't pass. Don't. Oh no. Why would you do that? You're, I've had coronavirus virus for so long. You're working hard when your co-worker Dennis keeps trying to talk to you rambling on and on about anime. Let's be weebs together. No, nope, I'm gonna report him to my supervisor. Your supervisor said he would look into it. Hey, I still have my job. I really thought that I would lose it, but maybe my supervisor like low-key hates him too. On your way to the dentist, you encounter a coyote. Please retreat slowly. Please, oh, she tries to keep it as a pet. Okay, I have a cat named Water and I have a coyote named Caramel. That's so cute. I'm gonna keep that. Hopefully my pets get along. I feel like my coyote's gonna eat my cat because that's what coyotes do. If you've ever lived in an area with coyotes, like they, they're gonna eat your animals, so don't leave your animals outside. Common sense. While at a bar, a woman offers you bourbon on the rocks. Ooh, wait, that she already ordered? What if there's something in it? No. Okay, I drank it and nothing happened. I called this. You came home to discover that your coyote caramel has killed your pet water. She grappled her to death. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna be like, duh, couldn't have never seen that one coming. <gasps> I'm getting rid of her. Do I post an ad online or just take her to the shelter? I'm gonna take her to the shelter. <laughs> I'm gonna take this coyote to the shelter and be like, yeah, this husky dog is like super weird, ate my cat. And they're gonna be like, girl, that is a coyote. And I'm gonna pretend that I did not know. Oh, the animal shelter didn't appreciate that one bit. I forgot that the shelter is gonna be like, you are so dumb. Some of your friends are eating frog legs. I would try anything once, but frog legs for some reason are just so disgusting to me. Like I've watched people eat them, like the little bone in there, like I just can't. But of course Penelope's trying it and now she has food poisoning. Ugh, oh, imagine getting food poisoning from a frog leg. Imagine like taking a bite out of it and like it's like slimy, Ugh, I can't breathe. Your supervisor Layla approaches you and tells you that she needs you to start putting in four more hours a week of unpaid overtime. Am I gonna stand up for myself? I refused. <laughs> and I insulted her. Oh, I didn't have to call her that, but I did. You've been fired. Of course I have. Why wouldn't I? Your supervisor said she couldn't help you. All right. I am not doing okay. While out jogging, a loud club promoter confronts you and asks if you trust in God. Surprise me. Which one? Oh, that's gotta hurt. A magician has offered you $10,000 to take a duffel bag to Pakistan. Uh, I think I'm gonna do. Sure, what could go wrong? Me and this girl 
girl, we're, we're thinking the same right now, except I got busted. Really unfortunate, but I have a lot of money to my name so I can afford the best. Oh no, please pick the most expensive lawyer. Why would you do that to yourself? Oh, she's cheap. While in the commissionary, you bump into a fellow prisoner named Ripe Isabella, who's doing time for petty theft. Well, I'm not too scared of her if it's petty theft. I'm gonna insult her. I'm gonna tell her she's a hoochie mama, show ya nana. <gasps> she attacked me with a glass shard? Oh, she cut my nipple? Oh my goodness. That's not good. At least she left my belly button ring alone because that would make me very upset. An inmate named Lindsay tells a guard that you named one of them a lame brain. Okay, I must be pretty notorious. I'm gonna scuffle with her. Get a yoink her tooth right out of her mouth, grabbed her tooth, did some serious damage. Oh, she hit me in the same spot I got hit before. Ah, ha, ha. Oh no, my sentence has been extended by two years for assault. Why? So a gang wants me to join. Their notoriety is really low, so please don't join. Thank you. Appreciate it. While in the dining hall, you bump into a fellow prisoner named Michaela who is serving time for driving under the influence. I do not want to get killed in here, but I think I might. Oh no. I told her that she's weak sauce. Oh, she stabbed me in the belly button. That's what I was talking about that I did didn't want someone to do to me. Oh, I died. <laughs> oh no. I died at 48, net worth of $149,000. I'm scandalous. I'm mediocre, extremely unlucky. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. I'm a hero. Personally, I've always, always thought so. I'm not gonna undo it because I just didn't feel like this girl was gonna go places anyway. <laughs> like she had the worst luck, the worst start. She got the flu like instantly when I started this up. I really like the surprise me option. I feel like doing it throughout the entire game instead of like playing as the character, it feels like you're really getting to know a person. And so I think that that's a really fun way to play. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications and I will see you on the next one. Bye.